This is an elite program. This is, you, you see what we have here from the city, the university, to uh, facilities. It's off the charts. And this is a big time program. Good day, I'm Rachel Phillips, and this right here is Memphis football's new assistant defensive coordinator and defensive line coach Spence Nowinski. The new Tiger has been at DC since 2013 and told us today taking this job was a no-brainer, even though moving in the middle of spring practice wasn't ideal timing. He and the rest of Memphis football are gearing up for the spring game on April 20th. The Grizzlies have just two games left in the season, and thank God. Golly gosh for that. Take a look at this doozy of an injury report for tomorrow's clash with the Lakers. 13 guys are out. An NBA roster only has 15, folks. It'll be Gigi Jackson and Jake LaRavia in an upstart group against the Lakers tomorrow. Speaking of basketball, some portal news for you. Backup point guard Jalen Young definitely won't be wearing the Tiger Blue next season. He entered the portal last month and today he announced via his socials he's heading to Vermont. Before we get into baseball, I've got two questions. Where did Rocky the Redbird go and what the heck is this thing? I'm going to have nightmares about it tonight. At least the Redbirds got a win up 3-0 here in the top of the fifth. Jose Furman with the speed to steal third and then Thomas Segesi puts it up for the sack fly and Furman jogs on in. Michael McGreevy laid the platform for the 6-1 win thanks to 6.2 scoreless innings pitch. They've got a doubleheader with Nashville tomorrow. That's your 901 in 91. Stay with us. We've got another look at weather on the other side.